Now let's find the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum of f of x on this interval between 0 and 4. Okay, so our first step is going to be to check for critical numbers within the interval. And to do that, we're going to take the derivative of f of x and set it equal to 0. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of minus 12x is just minus 12. Okay, so now we're going to set this equal to 0 and solve for x. You can add 12 to both sides of the equation, the two sides of the equal sign. And, okay, that's a straighter line than before. 0 plus 12 is 12 which is equal to 3x squared. Now we can divide both sides by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now we can take the square root of both sides. And we have solved for x. x is going to be plus or minus the square root of 4, which is 2. Now we're only interested in critical numbers between 0 and 4. So we're going to ignore the negative 2 now. And let's calculate f of 2. Because that's a critical number. So f of 2. We have 2 cubed minus 12 times 2. 2 cubed is 8. 12 times 2 is 24. And 8 minus 24 is negative 16. Great. Now all we have to do is calculate f of 0 and f of 4. Then we're going to compare all the values and see which value is the highest and which value is the lowest. Thereby we can find the absolute minimum, sorry, the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum. So what is f of 0? Well, we're going to have 0 cubed minus 12 times 0, which is just 0. OK. What about f of 4? 4 cubed minus 12 times 4. 4 cubed is 64. 12 times 4 is 48. 64 minus 48 is just 16. So 16 is the highest value. So that's the absolute maximum. Negative 16 is the lowest, so that's the absolute minimum. Great. So we know that the absolute minimum occurs at f of 2. Or rather, sorry. The absolute minimum is f of 2, which is negative 16, which happens at x equals 2. And the absolute maximum happens, of course, within this interval, right? Happens at x equals 4, and the value is 16. That's it.